In this example, we are again given two expressions. Well, actually, this time we're given equations. An equation is when I have an equal sign in between two expressions. And I'm also given a particular variable. I want to find out at that particular variable, does that make those, that equation true? Is it a true equation? And the way to find out is, put that variable in the equation. So 6 times x, but I want to put it at a 5. So 6 times 5 plus 16 equals 46. Is that a true equation? 6 times 5 is a 30, plus a 16 equals a 46. 30 plus 16 equals 46. 46 equals 46. That example is true. It is true for that particular variable that we chose in that 5. In the second example, I have another equation. This time I have z as the variable. And again, for no reason, just to kind of help us understand that it doesn't matter what letter we choose as a variable. So I have 2 times z plus 1 equals 5 times z minus 2, and I want to evaluate this equation at z equals 7. 2 times 7 plus 1 equals 5 times 7 minus 2. 2 times 7 plus 1 is 2 times an 8 equals 5 times a 5. And again, notice I'm only doing one step at a time. Some of you might be able to look at what the next line would be two or three or four steps down. Well, that's a good habit to get into to be able to visualize that, but it's a better habit to write down each step along the way. 2 times 8 is a 16. 5 times 5 is a 25. 16 does not equal 25. So therefore I can say then that this expression is not true when I choose the value z equals 7. There very well could be a value out there that does work, but for this case, they asked us to look at 7 and 7 does not work.